Hey, what's up? Chuck T here with the Pop Cult Killers. This is my real quick vinyl pick. All right, I got something fun and groovy for you today. It's a 2010 Afrobeat release from the Budos Band called Budos Band 3. But honestly, any of their albums would have been a great choice. Three just happens to be my personal favorite. Budos Band is an instrumental group formed in Staten Island back in 2005. Some have described them as doom rock, Afro soul, big beat music while others have called them Afro-inspired, psychedelic instrumental music. Me, personally, I describe them as badass. For starters, they've got a killer horn section, they've got great guitar work and keyboards, and they've got a ton of guys on percussion. They even have one dude that plays a giant hacky sack. The Budos Band are really perfect for almost any occasion as background music when you're chilling with yourself or with a buddy, or if you need to get something to really lock into with a great groove. So I'm challenging you to change it up a bit, throw on an album from the Budos Band. I'm Chuck T with a real quick vinyl pick. We'll see ya. What's up everybody? This is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers, and this is my real quick vinyl pick. And today I'd like to suggest one of my favorite albums of all time. It came out in the year 2000. It's four MCs, two DJs, a classic throwback to the roots of hip hop. It's Jurassic 5, Quality Control. And the four MCs, Charlie Tuna, Akil, Soup, and Mark Seven, were a precision, well-oiled rhyming machine. And these guys worked as a cohesive unit, sometimes passing the mic and going line for line on tracks. And the track Great Expectations highlights all four individuals on verses. And then on World of Entertainment, they put on a verbal clinic of passing the mic and harmonizing throughout the whole song. And let's not forget about two of the best DJ slash producers on the planet, Cut Chemist and Newmark on the decks. And then to close out the album, the DJs show their immense skills by using all those samples from the 30 swing music and vocal scratches on swing set. So go ahead and give this thing a spin. You won't be disappointed. And this is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers, and we'll see you next time. What's up, everybody? This is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers, and this is my real quick vinyl pick. And today I got something really special and interesting for you. This thing is a musical roller coaster from front to back. It's the 2003 release from Ween, Quebec. You want balls to the wall hard rock? Hit up, it's gonna be a long night. You want dreamy psychedelics? Put on the soothing sounds of Zoloft. You want arena ready anthem rock? Try out the phenomenal transdermal celebration. You want tuneful resonant folk music? Listen to Among His Tribe. Maybe you want some sinister electronics. Then you should definitely check out so many people in the neighborhood. And that's just the first five tracks and there's 10 more to go where you can weave your way on this roller coaster of fun. I mean, this thing makes stops all over the musical map. So pick this thing up, let's get a little weird. And this is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers, peace. Hey, what's going on? Chuck T here with the Pop Cult Killers. This is my real quick vinyl pick. My pick is a genre defining album. When people think of classic rock, they often think of this one, the 1976 self-titled debut album from Boston. So the man behind all the music, Tom Schultz, actually has a master's degree from MIT and was working full time at Polaroid when the album broke big. He ends up building a recording studio in his basement, spends several years recording all the demos, playing all the music by himself, and then hooking up with a singer named Brad Delp. So they shop the record around, they get turned down by just about everybody, except Epic comes to the rescue and signs them to a deal. The label wants Schultz and Delp to recut the record before they release it, and somehow they magically talk the label into letting them do it once again in the basement because it just happened to work with his Polaroid schedule just a little bit better. Three hit singles later, all top 40, and Boston's officially on the map. More than a feeling, peace of mind, foreplay long time, make some superstars. I'm Chuck T. This is the Real Quick Vinyl Pick. What's up, everybody? This is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers, and this is my Real Quick Vinyl Pick. And today, I got something from one of the baddest bands in all the land. The 1990 debut album from the Texas-based Psychobilly Trio, Smoke Em If You Got Em from the Reverend Horton Heat. And the main reason this thing kicks major ass is its two core members. Jimbo Wallace plays a stand-up bass, which is badass. And the godfather of psychobilly himself, Jim Heath, the Reverend Horton Heath, plays a Gretsch guitar, and Gretsch guitars are badass. I mean, this thing punches you in the face right from the very beginning with the track Bullet. It continues with psychobilly freakout, and then wraps it all up with a track Love Whip. So if you want something that's fast and loud and goes hard from the front to the back, throw this thing on. And this is Frank with the Pop Cult Killers. Peace.